As the director, I spend a lot of my time using the enrollment reports and um, this has been so valuable ever since we went live with Destiny One, that goes back to 2013, but it has been of particular value in recent months with the um, changes that happened because of COVID-19. But what we had to do, and if this is using Destiny One, is look at all the courses that we had uh, scheduled and use the system to uh, cancel or postpone. Uh, one of the really exciting and maybe energizing uh, uses of the enrollment reports is that we were asked by the president of the university to do something for the community. The three program managers came up with three courses that we were going to offer open enrollment. Well, we ended up with 2,300 registrations. What was so positive about that, we were able to report back to the senior leaders. We not only did this much in terms of enrollment and programming, but the dollar value that was associated with it was close to three quarters of a million dollars. As sort of the central tech perspective, you've got sort of that wrap up institutional reporting level. The Destiny One dashboards have really been an incredibly helpful tool for me personally at Temple University. So I'll go to the enrollments dashboard, the finance dashboards, and I can see quarter over quarter or month over month what our performance has been, and then I can splice it out we were able to set this contact tracing curriculum up. As far as like operational performance goes, I had those numbers at my fingertips and we just saw sort of enrollments explode. That particular program uh, was published in our central marketing newspapers at Temple University, put as a call out in some of the presidential emails that went out about how Temple University is helping the community. So those kinds of things are able to be driven through some of the actual just normal reporting tools of the university. The reporting infrastructure is essential to the annual reporting that you need to do as a leader. And the fact that I can draw on the reports from what we've accomplished so far this year, what we did in the previous year is so meaningful to senior leaders, expected me to have the data. And I did have the data that they could trust and it wasn't something I was making up. So I love that aspect of the reporting tools is that when you get something asked and you need it in 20 minutes, you can find it. Just the idea of when to do a maintenance window uh, was something that I would have no idea about how to even come up with. Um, now when I want to know what's our lowest usage time in Destiny 1, I can just run the login report. That's just something that I, I don't have to think about very much. The one that I spend a lot of time on and couldn't live without is how many enrollments we have by delivery formats. That one has become so necessary to our decision-making and our reporting to senior leaders. One of our program managers that looks after the professional development programs, she uses the reports from Destiny One to look at not only the enrollment, but to understand how to combine two or three courses to create an accelerated certificate. That has been a huge success story for us. As any staff member does anything in Destiny 1, there is just heaps and heaps and heaps of operational audit data that's generated. From a compliance, auditability, liability perspective, I can see anything that anybody's doing at any point in time in, in the staff view of the system, which to have that level of insight and to know that I can trust that if something does go wrong, I can back my way out of it is huge uh, because that's resources that we don't have to build internally. That's just something that's baked into the product. We do have a feature on our website that you can check off, notify me when this course opens for registration. That has saved us 
I would say thousands of hours. One of our priorities is around being a learner-centered culture, how good that is for the user. You have to be able to trust your numbers when you're reporting them to whether it's senior leaders or to federal leaders, you have to have that confidence in it so that they have confidence in making decisions that help more people get access to learning. Whenever we're going to receive funding for a grant project, be that $5,000 or be that half a million dollars, the funder wants to see outcome data um, and they want to see it now. Uh, and they want it to be accurate and verified and, and, and all of those things. Having a method uh, to track outcomes um, and then to report on those outcomes back to our funders um, is really, really critical for any kind of educational grant program. When it's come to the institutional decision about whether to continue our investment in Destiny Solutions, those institutional level numbers were the key part of our budget requests and our budget discussions with our leadership There is a report that does year by year comparisons for a particular program. The specific dashboard that I really like is revenue by purchase type. In that dashboard, you can see all of the different things that you can sell in Destiny Solutions are on a bar chart, and you can see sort of at a high level where to lean resources. And that chart is fantastic. But I actually really like the enrollment comparison report. And we're trying to see what can we expect in terms of enrollment and revenue based on what we did a year ago. And then that helps us with making projections for what where we think we're going to end up for the year. So it's just a really practical and helpful tool. But another report that's used quite frequently by our communications manager is how did you find out about uh, this program? That one gets used extensively to understand where do we need to put more of our marketing dollars? 